Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's time to head to the tent. Well, we are on the road now, headed for the tent. It is uh, two below zero Fahrenheit right now. We're gonna go through Duluth on the way up, so I'm sure that when we get down by the lake, it'll warm up a little bit. through Duluth right now, so we're skirting right along Lake Superior and it has warmed up to 14 degrees. The biggest challenge this year for the winter trip is gonna be crossing the lake. Everything that I've read and heard from people up there is that we've had uh, more snow up there than we've had in the last 20 years. That doesn't mean that there's that much snow on the ice, but uh, until we get there, we won't know. And then, they, because of all the snow and the pressure pushing down on the ice, there's a lot of slush on the lakes up there. And that uh, can be a real problem when I'm trying to cross. You can break through the snow and go into 12 inches of ice before you hit the actual, or 12 inches of slush before you hit the actual ice. So anyway, it's always interesting and you never know until you get out there. I need to stop in here and fill up on diesel and get a bottle of water because it'll be hours before any water is thawed out at the tent. That's the last stop at Civilization for a few days. snowmobilers ahead of me here. It'll be a nice, uh, weather is nice for that right now. In the state of Minnesota we have something like 22,000 miles of groomed uh, snowmobile trails. Looks like there's been snowmobilers out there. It looks like people have pulled sleds too. I wonder if they were out ice fishing. People like to go out straight out and then go to the right and fish for walleyes in the winter. But with a snowmobile trail going part way out, that's gonna make uh, part of my walk anyway easier. I can just go right on the track. You can see right here that slush I was talking about. Glad we're here on a cold morning. It was six degrees when I got out of the truck. See where they did. I don't know why they were fishing here. If you're gonna fish, you gotta fish over there. That wind 
it has a bite to it for sure. Looks like my snowmobile trail ended. <laughs> Still got quite a ways to go. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's the folks' cabin. Well, there she is. I can't see if there's any trees down on it or not, but uh, I can see the front porch. Almost there. You can hardly even tell that there's a boat sitting there. Wow, that's a lot of snow. Wow, looks like I got some shoveling to do back here too. Something was in here, knocked over the olive oil. The pen has been moved a little bit. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. I mean, when was the last time I was here? Two and a half months ago? I definitely got to pull some ashes out of there. I'm going to leave that door open. It's much warmer outside than it is in here. Well, it feels that way anyway. <laughs> Ah, 
every year when I do this, somebody will comment why didn't I clean the stove out before I left. <laughs> it's like uh, when I leave and deer hunting, the stove is going, so it's been going for days, and there's just no way to clean it out. I just talked to Melissa on the phone for about a half an hour while it's heating up in here. It's up to 56.7. I can't believe that it's 30 degrees outside. It doesn't feel that warm, but, and when I left my truck, it was six, was it, or eight, whatever it was. But uh, maybe it has warmed up that much. I've been here since the clock was off. It was uh, reading 12 o'clock, so I've been here for an hour and 21 minutes. It took about an hour and 15 minutes to cross the lake. salmon last night for supper so I brought some of that for lunch and a piece of super warm chicken I have uh, chuck steaks up here and pork steaks and I brought up potatoes and uh, one onion brought up six little cans of vegetables I usually bring up my computer bag and a camera bag and I didn't I just brought up batteries and chargers for the camera actually I brought up this camera also in case the other one failed and I have batteries for that an extra lens for my 77D in case I screw that up Clothes. Oh, there's my onion and some Cajun seasoning that Melissa made. Extra pair of glasses in case something happened. And my computer.
finally starting to feel warm enough in here so I can take off some of the heavy clothes. In the winter time when I come up I like to uh, put in one tank of gas here into my buddy heater and then uh, put this in the bedroom and let it run, shut the door and just let this heat go in there and try to help warm up all the wood in there. Because I mean, you go back there right now, it's cold. <laughs> Also turn the electric blankets on in the bed up to six. Melissa makes the best salmon veggie bake or whatever she calls it ever. It's just delicious. I can't even remember what I was watching when I left last time, but power's been out for Star Trek. came right on. <laughs> I don't, how does it do that? It's been two and a half months and uh, power's been off the whole time and it still comes up to the same point. prefer gun smoke at lunch time. Looks like the oil is starting to thaw it a little bit on top. I've been inside the tent now for two hours and 38 minutes. It's 77.2 at this level. Um, when you sit at the table, you're warm down to just below your knees and then the bottom part of your legs uh, are still cold.
the batteries were dead in this one and I wanted to check because it says it's 30 degrees outside and I just find that hard to believe even though it feels nice out there it wasn't supposed to get that warm and this one has a different sensor right out here and it says it's 29 it's already 70 degrees back here it's really comfortable I ran that stove really hot though I had it up to 90 or 91 for a while so everything in here feels really good now Even all the oil is thawed out except for this very bottom here. The door won't, uh, it's hitting up here. And I adjusted that this summer so it was better, but there's so much snow load. And this is always a problem every winter, but since I adjusted it, I adjusted it to keep the bugs out. And now <laughs> it's open on the bottom and I don't have my, uh, my uh, cordless drill here of course so I'm just wondering if I can get it to adjust at all without that no, I can't get it to adjust the way I want it to uh, Last year I was going to put a new door in because this is a door that I refurbished off a job years ago. I had been in that house for probably 15 years before I put it into here. And that was 12, 13 years ago or whatever. So I was going to get a new one and I never got around to it. That's why I adjusted this one. So maybe next year I think it's definitely time to put a new door in. Well, I did find the fire pit. <laughs> I'll finish digging that out tomorrow. I've just about had enough shoveling for one day. Well, I just posted a short little tent video saying that I made it up here and then I was texting with George and messaging with Melissa and doing the comments on there. It's nice that it got so warm outside today. It really wasn't that bad heating up the tent and uh, everything all the way to the floor feels nice already. Usually that takes about 24 hours. I'm 
do the chuck steaks tonight. If I do the pork steaks, I want to do those out on the campfire. And I get comments when I do these videos that they're uh, they're so uh, repetitious. Same thing over and over. <laughs> and you know, they are, but uh, if you think about it, when I come up to the tent especially for the winter trip, um, what else is there to do? You come up here, it's cold, you got to get the stove going. Um, there's snow to be shoveled. Uh, you got to shovel out to the outhouse. You have to eat. You have to get water thawed out. And um, the only thing that really changes is the scenery. And that's just because sometimes we have a lot of snow, sometimes we don't. You just never know. I'm only going to do the one baked potato tonight because I really think, I mean, I won't even be able to eat a whole steak and I'll have the other one cooked and, uh, but I think tomorrow I might want to do that deer heart for lunch and I'll probably want to do that with some fried potatoes or something. So the last time I was up here was November 17th, and it's February 5th. So December, November, December, January 17th, that's been almost three months. I see that last year when I come up here it was February 2nd and this year now it's February 5th. It seems like it's so long between deer hunting and the winter trip and uh, but it always seems to end that happen that last week in January or the first couple weeks in February.
Well, there you go. You've seen this meal 50 times when I'm up at the tent, and it looks just as delicious now as it did the very first time. <laughs> it smells really good, too. I'm going to put on the snowshoes and go pull two of the uh, trail cameras. I think I changed batteries and all those before I left for deer hunting. After deer hunting, I can't remember, but see if we got any pictures. I mean, that's two and a half months. I doubt that the batteries lasted that long in this cold, but um, you never know. Just a reminder, <laughs> when you leave uh, deer hunting, make sure you put the ladder up against a tree or something. It took me forever with a shovel poking around in the snow because I couldn't remember where I laid it down on the ground. <laughs> All right, let's see what we ended up with. I'm messaging with Melissa because even before Nellie got sick, if you watch the videos on Northern Seclusion, um, we've been dealing with a Rottweiler rescue dog that uh, is in Texas. It got hit by a car, had a bunch of broken ribs, had a few other issues, and then they had to get it neutered and everything anyway. It's, it's ready for travel this week, so it should be up to the farmhouse within under 10 days. So anyway, they were giving us the adoption fees and stuff like that, so she um, is just messaging me here now and explaining that stuff to me. Look at all that snow, holy cow. And then from 11.30 something to 12.17, there was nothing that happened. That's it. So basically, no animals, no anything came by here. We just have some snowstorms. So we had 229 pictures on that SD card, and I am just going to delete them all because there was nothing exciting there. So now let's do the one that faces the lake. That one is usually really boring, but uh, you never know. It doesn't usually get many pictures. So this one has 39 pictures. That's me putting it up, I'm sure. Look at that, hardly no snow on the lake. Big wind there. <laughs> wow. That's actually pretty cool. You can see here that it's just pretty much ice. And then it must have really blew. Look at how it just the, gradually the dock almost disappears. There I am today. Camera in my right hand. <laughs> Sled in my left, 
And that's me tonight pulling it. There's the top of the uh, tent. <laughs> Well, although that picture of the snow blowing up was cool, it's if I saved every picture from the trail cameras, I would uh, not have any space. That's not too bad. Just burned one bin of wood today. It's 9.33 at night and it's still 78 in here and it's 16.5 outside. I wonder what the weather is supposed to be like tomorrow. Lows one below to five above zero. Northeast wind five. West wind around 10 miles per hour with gusts to around 20 miles per hour. Thursday, mostly cloudy. A chance of flurries in the morning, then a chance of light snow in the afternoon. High 17 to 21. North wind around 5 miles per hour becoming east in the afternoon. Chance of snow 40%. Thursday night, light snow likely. Snow accumulation of 1 to 2 inches. Lows 1 below to 5 above 0. Northeast wind 5 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 20 miles per hour. Sounds to me like I showed up on the right day to get the tent all heated up. It's not going to be as warm as it was today, but everything is heated up in there so it's not that big of a deal. Just going to be burning a little bit more wood than I did today. Okay everyone, well it's almost 10.30. I do not think I'm gonna have any problem sleeping tonight. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everybody. I have just been sitting here as the sun came up doing comments on YouTube now that we have the three channels, this one and Northern Seclusion and the new one as the Rooster Crows. It can take sometimes a couple of hours just to get through all of the uh, comments if I had just put up a video or whatever. So trying to get through some of those. Uh, sounds like we have a nice sunny start to the day and then it's going to cloud up and then we'll have snow showers this afternoon and up to maybe an inch of snow, they said. And it's not going to be quite as warm as it was yesterday. Today, the biggest thing I want to do, I want to walk over. I've got to check the folks' cabin. My dad already texted me, asked me if I had been over there yet. 
I want to go inside, just make sure everything is okay. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I might walk all the way down the driveway, so we'll see. And I think for lunch, we're going to cook up some deer heart. And, oh, and I want to go out and shovel up the, out the uh, fire pit because it would be nice to cook up some pork steaks on that tonight if I can uh, get a good fire going. When I woke up this morning, the first time um, I woke up, it was like, I don't know, 417 or something like that. And uh, out here, I got up and I put wood into the stove and it was 55 or 54 or something like that. And then in the bedroom, it was only 49 and it was so nice and warm in the bed, but I had the heat blankets on five or the setting was on five. And when I got out front of the covers, I was like, holy crap. That's why I come out here and put wood in the fire, and then I crawled back in and and got up. I don't know what time it was, 5.30 or something. But, uh, yeah, it was a little chilly, a little bit of a shock getting out of the bed. Looks like it was 4.23 in the morning, and it was 57 out here, but in the, in the bedroom it was 49, so... <laughs> And it was only 9.7 degrees outside. Well, it's 9.30 in the morning right now. Just about. And I think I'm about finished with comments here. I think it's time we should run over and... Uh, I'll go take a walk out there, eventually make it over to the folks' cabin. So what's the best way to get from here to up there? <laughs> Lots of rabbit trails, nothing super fresh, but uh, I saw rabbit tracks and I've seen squirrel tracks. Definitely a deer here that was on the run. Look at how far the jumps are apart. And here's the tent road where we drive in in the summertime. Ski trails look like they haven't been groomed for a little while here, but I guess it is Thursday today, so I'm sure they'll come through and groom them before the weekend. Zachary texted me earlier this morning and said if I was uh, looking for something to do, I could go out to his deer stand because there's still a trail camera out there, but that's a long walk from here, so, and then, this isn't bad walking, but then you got to go into the woods, and that's where it gets bad. So I was going to grab that one third weekend of deer hunting, but then the weather got real bad, so I never made it up here. Almost there. It's a lot of snow. It's almost all the way to the top of his fence.
Again, the snow is higher than the porch for him to <laughs> step down to the porch. <laughs> Nothing seems out of place in here. Everything looks good as far as I can tell. I don't think I can get the outhouse door open. All I can do is get my hand in there. Let's head back to the tent. military planes flying out of Duluth. It's so weird. Uh, when 9-11 happened and they grounded all the flights in the United States, I come up here to the tent for, I don't know, a few days. And it was weird because you're surprised how many times you'll see a plane in the air or hear that sound and it was silent except for the military planes. I would hear those flying. And to be honest, at that time, that was pretty comforting. Now I gotta get back down there without wiping out. is kind of fogging up. We were out there quite a while. It's 20, just says it's 26 out there. It's not a bad day. It's 87.8 .8 in here though. I think it's time to turn down the stove a little. Well, it's just uh, it's a little bit after 11.30. I think I'm going to uh, cook up some lunch. I want to do the deer heart. 
and some uh, fried or smothered potatoes. I got the deer heart all cut up here and frying. Already smells good. Okay, everyone, it's time for lunch. Well, I've been in there doing absolutely nothing. I watched the end of the uh, shooter movie again. That's one thing about the winter trip, it forces you to actually stop for a while and do nothing because uh, there's not a whole lot you can do when there's this much snow around. But I thought I would come out here and dig some more on this fire pit. I'm not sure if I'm going to be firing this up tonight or not, but uh, I won't be able to unless I get it shoveled out.
well, everything is shoveled out. Come out here in a while and see if we can't get that fire to start up. Put enough lighter fluid on it, she'll go. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. There you have it. Perfectly pan fried deer heart and if you have not tried it, you're missing out. That fire is slow to burn when it has a base of, you know, ice and water down there, so I have to keep stacking wood on top to try to get some good coals going. Looking at the weather here, today it got to, I, it said 27 at one time. Right now this says it's 22, mine says it's 23.7. And uh, it's supposed to get down to 3 below tonight. And tomorrow's high is only 10, and then tomorrow night it's getting down to 10 below. N not much wind. Winds are just light and variable, but uh, and tomorrow's going to be a much colder day than today or yesterday. I'm just finishing up editing two cooking videos here and uh, I want to go out and check that fire. These are actually some pretty nice sized pork steaks this time. It's hard to find big ones anymore. They'll still cook way down because they got so much fat on them, but and that's what makes them so delicious. Well, I got the potatoes on there now, cooking in the coals. Looks like the ice has melted off the cooking grate. 
and we have a little bit of light snow falling right now. I think I'll go ahead and drop this down to burn the pine needles off of it. Okay, I think it's time to throw the pork steaks on. Uh, I don't want the coals to go down too far, and right now they're just about perfect. They look good and they smell even better. It's been a, I can't remember the last time I had a pork steak over a campfire. I think I, Melissa and I had pork steak maybe a month ago on the barbecue, but I don't even think I cooked these up on the fire for deer hunting, so this is gonna be good. I was talking to Melissa and I told her when I get back to the farmhouse, we're going to have plenty of leftovers. But right now it's dinner time.
forgave me for leaving the ranch. Okay, everyone. Well, it's almost 10.30 at night. And I am going to crawl into bed. It's taken its own sweet time trying to get light out this morning. It's 10 minutes to 7 o'clock. It's lightly snowing out there, but it was pretty bright already by this time yesterday with the uh, clear skies. Sure. I'm just watching George and his sons, Stephen's channel. Inside they did a winter camp. camping trip up here, but they go out to yeah. a different lake and they actually camp. And they just posted it, so I'll put a link to this uh, up some English right here, this. right now. You can click on it and go over and watch. It's pretty neat. So really, it's uh, <laughs> it's quite a little. Well, we're out fishing now. Uh, still snowing pretty good, and man, there's a ton of snow out here. I think they caught a couple of perch and one small trout yet, but when you look at the camp here, It looks real pretty out there with that fresh snow laying on the trees. I think later today I might put on the snowshoes and head across the lake, kind of back towards the second narrows, just see how it is walking there, see how deep the snow is. Just kind of get some exercise. Because I know I have had enough shoveling snow exercise to last me quite a while. Looks like the sun is trying to break through. There's little spots of blue up there. Well, I am done with all the comments on the channels. And it is 9.02. 0.3 degrees outside. 81 degrees in here. I'm going to be here all day today and tonight, and then tomorrow morning I'll be heading out. But I'm not going to have to cook today, which is nice. Uh, I have enough food for sure. Um, I'm going to want to take a shower today, so I'll have to heat some water up later. And eventually this morning we will run out and uh, see how it is walking on the lake. Well, I was kind of hoping that it would warm up outside some. They said it might get to 10 degrees, but then now the radio is saying st near steady temps all day. And um, it was a while ago, it was like one below, then it went up to 2.5 degrees, now it's at 1.9. So I want to try to walk across the lake here before lunch. Uh, just at least get across over to that other campsite and take a look at that in the winter if the snow isn't drifted too bad on the ice if it is i'm not gonna kill myself today just to go out for a walk when uh tomorrow i'm gonna have to cross the lake anyway <laughs> you try walking this path with snowshoes on, it doesn't go very good. There we go.
It really is quite beautiful and quite desolate in the wintertime. Everything is so quiet. Looks a lot different right now than like last opening fishing. Andy and Jeff stayed here and uh, came over to the tent. Now this is, uh, I really sink in with the snowshoes here. It's pretty deep. walk up here through the second narrows and there's that beaver house on the right side up here. I always fish out in front of that. I just want to take a look. There's a big downy woodpecker crawling up that pine tree. The beaver house is right there behind that pine tree right there. This ends up being a great fishing spot in the spring. I guess we'll head back to the tent and heat up some lunch. I walk around out here and you see the taller pine trees, the white pines that go way above, you know, all the other ones. And you just wonder, like I've been coming up here for about 30 years now, and there used to be trees that would be on the point of an island or a point of land that were kind of landmarks that now have died. Some are just sitting there dead, others have fallen over into the water. And you just wonder what it would have been like a hundred years ago. I mean, a hundred years ago, somebody had to be out here walking on this ice, just like I am, and what the skyline looked like back then. Looks like the sun is trying to peek out a little bit. Well, that killed a good hour. Time for lunch. Leftover chuck steak, beets, and fried potatoes. It sure hasn't warmed up much today. 
Melissa messaged me from work and she said it's 24 degrees over in Superior, Wisconsin and it's snowing pretty good there too. Just cloudy and chilly here. This one here is totally thawed out, but this one right here, still a big chunk of ice in there. I can hear it. I always leave this down on the ground so it can thaw out. It's not even, it's still kind of frozen right here. I'm gonna have to put it in the hot water. Pump is good. It gets warm back here in the shower, but the floor, even though it's insulated underneath here, is cold. There we go. Must have just been frozen where the connection is here. Even though I charged that battery up last time when I was up here, it's had a lot of months now of cold weather. So I think I'm just going to put the charger on it before my shower just to make sure that it's doing good. I was going to jump in the shower, and uh, but Melissa's just about to leave work, so I uh, pulled the water off for right now because it'll take, I'll end up talking to her on her ride home for about a half hour. Well, I just got off the phone with Melissa. I can see all kinds of patches of blue up in the sky, but I have yet to see the sun come out across the snow. Somebody want to remind me next year around deer hunting that I need a new shovel. This one, when the top broke last year, now it's cracked almost all the way through and I'm not gonna remember <laughs> that I'm gonna come up here next year for the winter trip and I'm not gonna have a very good time shoveling snow. That water's good. It wasn't uh, completely heated up yet, but I took it off because I knew I was gonna be on the phone for a while. And, and I was on the phone probably 45 minutes and just sitting just like this, it's like the perfect temperature. Let's hope everything works on here.
Well, I accumulated six dirty dishes over the last few days, and usually when I do the shower water, I put more water in there, so I have warm water left over. And since uh, I have to do dishes tonight, I might as well do them right now because everything else is just heated up in the microwave. I won't have to get anything dirty. I definitely need to get more Windex. I remember I bought some when I came up here earlier this year. And uh, so I had a, a fresh brand new one sitting in the cabinet there. And uh, when I came up that last time for deer hunting, I went in that cabinet to get the Windex. And that Windex had froze, cracked, and ran all over. Luckily that's just a plywood floor. It actually smelled kind of good in there. <laughs> But I don't know why, why that happened. Uh, it's never happened ever before, and I've always used Windex since I started coming up here. And uh, so I'm wondering if they're watering it down more, or if it just happens to be, a, maybe the plastic in the bottle is different than it used to be. I don't know, but uh, I'm now back to that same little bit amount of uh, Windex I had before I bought the new one. Today there really wasn't all that much to do, but normally when I come up here for the winter trip, I only spent two nights here. And I spent the extra day this time, I mean, it was nice, but it's just less to do today. I think I'm going to run out and put those two uh, trail cameras back out before it gets dark because I've got to put on my snowshoes to do that and it really sucks doing that in the dark because the locks on there that lock the boxes um, are real small, <laughs> you know, to try to get it, the cable in there in the dark. Especially when I don't have my good headlamp up here.
one degrees and dropping out there. That diesel is not going to be very happy with me tomorrow morning starting when it's not been plugged in for a few days. Well, since all I have to do in here really is vacuum, everything else is little stuff that gets done in the morning, uh, I think I'm going to start editing this video that you are watching right now. I have over, well over 500 video clips already and probably another 50 to go until this uh, video is finished. Not all of them get used, but it's going to take a while to edit that, so I might as well get started right now since I don't have a whole lot to do tonight. Well, I've just been editing on that video and it started to feel kind of chilly in here. I guess it's still 73.9 but when you've been running at 80 or above, 73 starts to feel chilly. I've been at this for uh, an hour and 15 minutes maybe and uh, right now on the video I am just about to take the ashes out of the stove when I first came up here. Well, I shouldn't need to put any wood in the wood box until I can drive in in the spring. Although it is four below right now already, so it's going to take a little bit more wood tonight than it did any of the previous nights. Just watched the entire Captain America the Winter Soldier movie start to finish and I didn't see a minute of it. <laughs> Just playing his background sound. I just finished the first folder of video clips. I think I have six or whatever so far and I'll have a seventh. So right now I have my lunch in the microwave, the salmon, and the video is 16 minutes and 58 seconds long. Mm -hmm. But I think I better vacuum in here. I really hate vacuuming in the morning, so I want to get that done tonight.
Everything is nice and clean now. It's amazing how uh, how much less junk you get on the floor in the wintertime when there's snow versus when there's pine needles and leaves coming in all the time. Well, the temperature keeps dropping, and it is almost time for bed. I definitely have the thermostat turned up a little more tonight than I did either of the last two nights. Well, it's warmed up a little bit overnight. It's clouded up is what's happened. Now it is... 20 minutes to 7 and it is minus 0.4 so not quite as bad as the 10 below or 11 below it was last night. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching the 2020 tent winter trip. I had a great time. It was really nice up here.
guys on the next video.